Good morning from Marston Cove. We finally got Curiosity off, got Curiosity, got Minion off the Davits, transported her into town to the repair shop, and now we're saying goodbye to Curiosity. And hello, road trip. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is our floating home Curiosity. But in celebration of our 15th wedding anniversary, we're temporarily trading in our keels for wheels because that's how our adventure together started 15 years ago. Now this road trip is gonna be a twofer because as we make our way around the Twin Coast Highway of New Zealand with its dramatic coastlines, ancient forests, and cascading waterfalls, we're also taking a trip down memory lane, a byway of our journey together the story of us from the time we said I do and became legal guardians to a 15 year old, that was a steep road, to the years we spent living on the road and eventually buying a boat without a lick of experience and sailing it halfway around the world to New Zealand. So yeah, here we go. Our very first hike in New Zealand. This is our first real adventure, other than moving the boat. <laughs> and we figured, okay, now we're in hiking territory, so we should start off pretty easy. This one's only about an hour. So, look, we've done lots of swimming. That's about it. So anything swimming based I can do, and we've been at sea level for quite some time. So anything with any sort of real elevation is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for us. So we're breaking ourselves in. Nice, easy yeah. hiker. And this is the official start to our 15 wedding anniversary road trip. <laughs> Fern tree, I need to look this up. Yeah. Gotta look it up. That one looks like the, the bark is interesting. I guess the leaf I is I know, I'm gonna show you that one, but that's up. You're shooting up. I just wanted, you could get detail of this. Tell me, you tell me what to do? <laughs> this is this wedding anniversary thing <laughs> starting off great. Oh, we've been seeing these trees as we've been driving and they look really beautiful because it looks like a palm tree from the road or from a distance and even up close. But it also looks like a fern because the leaves are very fern-like. It's just that this is, a, this is a new species for us, this tree. That's why it's exciting. It's, it's like the first time you see something and then discovering what it is. And I still haven't discovered what it is, but I'm going to. But it's neat, you know, it's like new bark. It, it looks different. It looks like a dinosaur fern tree. Yeah, but we, yeah, there's lots of things we have yet to discover, but it's exciting. New stuff. That's a lot of stairs. He's, uh, he's shaking his tail feathers. There's a lady over here that he's trying to get the attention of. She keeps flying away. And he keeps fluttering around and trying to chase her down. He's not giving up easy. Good for him. Oddly enough, that little persistent bird was very much like Jason when we first met, because he was also a very persistent fellow. Because when we met, it was not love at first sight. But in all fairness, I had just graduated high school and had left my teeny tiny tiny town of 1,000 people and had moved to the big city of Dallas, Texas, and I... <laughs> On a mission to do the Thelma and Louise thing, she was like, I'm not getting a boyfriend. <laughs> 
pretty much. Yep. And uh, so yeah, I had plans, and one of it did not include a uh, blonde-headed bobblehead, as I called it when we first met. <laughs> and I was working for this pretty well-known photographer traveling all over the world. I had a full-time job. I graduated the year before from high school, so I was older, had a real job, drove a, drove a Camaro Z28 T-top, so I was, like, very cocky. Yeah, yeah. and I was very not impressed <laughs> by City Boy. So, yeah. <laughs> so we went on our first official... Un Unofficial date. It was not supposed to be a date. We were just... We had mutual friends. We were supposed to just be meeting up, and we were the first to get there, yeah. and we were waiting on everybody else to get off work. And we're going bowling, and there was a Chili's across the street. So I crammed into the little booth yeah. next to her, and I looked at the waitress, and I said, one milkshake, two straws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of people like to think that he was being romantic, but that is no, so... No, I was just being cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Which really just kind of sets the tone for like our whole probably first couple of, ugh, yeah. probably forever, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, so it's like even our first official, I don't even know if it was our first official date, but we went on a lot of Tuesday date nights. Yeah, Tuesday was the best date night ever because the Dollar Theater had 50 cent night on Tuesday. So you could go see a movie for 50 cents. You could sneak in your own food and it's like, boom. Perfect date night. <laughs> Under five bucks. <laughs> Barlow. Most girls would not be very impressed by somebody being ultra frugal, but luckily for Jason, it was a quality this small town country girl could actually appreciate. So I wasn't offended for a while. I think my mom was more offended for you. She's yeah. like, take her to a real movie, Jason. She would give us Christmas money at the regular theater. Like, you could not spend this at the dollar theater. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. forward about a year and a half of 50 cent movie nights and we had saved a lot of money we were doing pretty good i had my very own apartment i'm still going to school still working at neiman marcus and retail i was feeling pretty fiercely independent thought i was doing pretty good considering where i came from and i was like you're spending all this money on a lease you know for an apartment i'm like just throwing that money away meanwhile because jason's living with his parents yeah i mean i live with my parents it's cheap it's free it's i <laughs> technically i was living with them but i was traveling so much that i wasn't even even home more than half of the year but it was also caveat. it had a lot to do with the fact that it was free. cheap and free yeah <laughs> so i looked at her and like stop throwing your money away the government just came out with this new thing it's a program where you can get a loan and it's called an arm and for the first five years the interest rate is super duper low yeah i want to say it was like one one point nine percent or something yeah it was so it was cheap and allowed pretty much anybody to buy a house literally, literally. <laughs> Anybody. Meanwhile, we're not even of legal drinking yeah. age. Um, we're not married. and We, we don't plan on living together. Right, but we decided we were going to buy a house together. Yeah, our family's like, you're doing what? what? <laughs> Are you, I mean, maybe take it a little slower. <laughs> but we were like on the entrepreneurial like yeah. side hustle path for sure. But that was before, like side hustle, I don't even think yeah. that was a word yet. Fire definitely didn't exist anyway. But we were thinking, this is going to make us some money. So the only thing we could afford is, of course, major fixer-upper. So, so we dove in headfirst, like we usually do, just all the way in. We started remodeling the whole thing from front yard to the backyard and everything in gutted between. Gutted everything. We did dishes oh. in the bathtub for months. Months. Nothing brings you closer together <laughs> than... <laughs> Having to do dishes in the bathtub. Yeah, oh. it was it was a long time, oh. uh, and of course that whole like not living together thing didn't work out yeah. um, for very long. Cause yeah, about six months in, I was like, hey, I need to you know I, I need to work on the house. Yeah, <laughs> get up in the morning and just start working on the house. Yeah, so then we really were living together, but we were working full time, yeah. and we had three different roommates. 
uh, living with us to help pay for everything yeah. <laughs> while working on the house. So we weren't working, we were working. Yeah, yeah, but we made it through all of that and surprisingly well. Like we yeah. worked well together. It, we didn't really bicker a lot and we were kind of like, well, I mean, if we can do all of this together, maybe this relationship's actually gonna work out. Yeah, yeah, and side note, we sold the house just before the market crash, so whew, investment <laughs> success. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, oh man! After all of that, that kind of like set the tone for what we wanted next, and it was not per se the American dream of like owning a house with a picket fence. We were like, hell no, yeah, that's, that's too, too much, work. much maintenance. <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> Fast forward fifteen yeah. years, buy a boat. Oh uh, yeah, we learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we've mentioned it yet, but it is winter here in New Zealand. Not that you could tell today. Oh, it's absolutely Although, gorgeous. You know. Well, yeah. But he's in sweaters. So it is cool, but it is. Not a cloud in the sky. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of these types of days we're going to get, so I'm super happy we got out to enjoy it today. We've teamed up with Road Trippers because, well, it's a totally awesome road tripping app that's free to use. And we're adding photos and reviews to all of our stops. So if you want to check out our map or download the app, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Pretty funny. That's why we're here. I think it's down there. <laughs> you may keep those things from me you stole. You know me, I cashed out long ago. Out of any fucking control, careful with the highlight. <laughs> half of it's the truth and half we've sung Truth we halfway told Ready? Ready I don't know where we are going But I'd like to go with you, darling When we get there, I suppose <laughs> it's too early for that. Yep. So it's only like 6.45. Yep. Hedges, angels, come to corners with me. Riddle out every shadow you see. Ring a bell, shake a car. How's it smell? It smells all right. Does it smell like coffee? It smells like coffee. Okay. Winner! <laughs> could go on a whole tangent about how the coffee doesn't bloom and that there's no control with the pouring device, yada yada, but I'll, I'll spare you. <laughs> Your coffee snobbery was. Dear, dear coffee nerds, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll just put hashtag first world problems right across the <laughs> screen right there. Hey, I even have on my camping socks. Good morning. Paint all your tigers gold. Paint all your tigers gold. Very short trek to our first stop this morning. We're going for a little art and a little nature. Camera won't focus. It's not manual focus?
and your lying heart sleeps tonight. Right about the same time we finished the renovations on the house, I decided that I had a little more time and I was going to break out start my own photography business. For me, I had decided I stopped going to college, didn't finish, because Jason was traveling all over the world working, and well, that was something I had always wanted to do, dreamed of doing, and I thought, well, how do I get in on that? And of course, with photography and the way that they were traveling, they always traveled with at least one or two photography assistants and typically makeup artists and stylists. So I thought, all right, makeup artist and stylist, I can do that. As with everything, just full steam ahead, right? Yeah. And so- Or working and traveling together, that was really the first time. Yes, and that was a, I mean, that actually was a little bit of a struggle because Jason was technically the one we're calling the shots, but not necessarily over me, but I sometimes I would feel that way. Anyway, so that was like our first experience in like power struggle of like, how do we work together? <laughs> because who's the boss and then learning to let that person be the boss, at least on on set. <laughs> we all know who rules the roost at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Because we worked in photography and I was a makeup artist and stylist, we also worked a lot within like events and weddings in Dallas because that's kind of... It's kind of where you start off in the Dallas world. Yeah, for sure. And, and it's a good place to be. It's a good market yeah. there for all oh, of yeah. that. High-end events, like super glam, super glam events. Like, oh man. For sure. We were going to get married and we decided to have a destination wedding for two reasons. <laughs> One, we couldn't afford to hire the people that we worked with. There was no way they were like in a totally different league. We didn't have that kind of money. Yep. And we also didn't want a big wedding. Yeah. And then that's, of course, where all, most of all of our family and friends were. So then everybody would have wanted to come and we felt guilty not inviting Anyway, you know how weddings go. Yeah. So we decided destination wedding, that'll just get rid of all of that. So we what just, did we do? So yeah. it was, you know, unique. We bought a 1985 Volkswagen camper van and decided. Not just because of the wedding. We had well, bought that beforehand. But yeah. yeah, but we had that and we're like, we're in a road trip all the way to Florida. We're going to go get married where they shot the Truman Show because it's beautiful there. And we're <laughs> going to have a beach wedding yeah. with our camper van. Yeah, and we did. I like the way the uh, light dances in here as you move around. Oh, look at all this lovely grass. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is the Brick Bay Sculpture Garden. And while this isn't exactly your atypical hike, we thought, well, it sounded really interesting. A restaurant, sculptures, and a trail. It's 12 bucks, and so far we've seen beautiful trees, some interesting art, some sheep. Uh, yeah, just a really nice day to be out here. It's nice and cool and crisp, but beautiful, and I have no complaints. Well, I can't say that I understood all the art, but I simultaneously feel culturized and exercised. Not a bad stop.
We are in the middle of nowhere. There are matters shattering our So that's the uh, Waipua or Piroa waterfall. <laughs> Not sure which one, there's two different labels. If it wasn't so cold, we'd bring our dinner down here and eat it, but it's not warm, so we're gonna go mosey on. <laughs> we will continue the road trip and the stories, including the one of how we actually got married and ended up with a 15 year old. Ooh, that was a, uh, yeah. Yep, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> And well, well, yeah, and we'll tell you more about us. us uh, yeah. Oh, and what <laughs> the end? <laughs> God, <laughs> we're so bad at that. We are. So, subscribe, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for Thanks watching. watching yes, being a part of this, yeah. this lovely, lovely love adventure. Yeah. Okay, that was cheesy. Sorry, yeah. I apologize. Thanks. Bye. Love you. See you next time. Bye. I love you too. I love you too. You say it like you mean it. <laughs> I really, really love you. <laughs>